Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about threads. In threads, there is multi-threading concept in Java. If you want to see here, thread, it is available for the optimal use of the available resources. We can use multiple resources in threading. If you want to use one thread for multiple devices, something like you are going to start a program. The concept is first of all, you are starting. If you want to run n number of threads, like n number of programs, what happens? This will be running and this will be, if you, you can, you can get any errors like it is not running or else the file is not found. Errors. You have to browse any error handling, something like exception handling. Suppose if you see in multi-threading, you can use multiple threadings. If it is like this is running. Whatever the second program you are running, it will be in a stage of waiting process rather than waiting, sorry, that rather than errors, it will be in waiting process. In the same way, it has multiple CPUs. If you see, it is extended the idea of multitasking. The whole thread concept is about the multiple threads. If you want to take any threads, it will do a multiple tasking where you can see it will be subdividing it. Either this threads can be either extended or it can be implemented. Where this extended will be in a thread phase and this implemented will be in a runnable phase. We have two types of in multi-threading. One is thread phase and the other is runnable phase. And the second one is it is a individual thread. For each and every thread, you will be having individual threads. Like one, this is a running phase where the thread will be. This is individual and the second program. This is second. This is first program. Okay. This the first program, whatever you are seeing, this is a one type of thread and this is the other thread. It enables you to write in a way where multiple activities can be proceed. The same way as, as I said earlier, see here, you are starting a program to run it. One can be in a runnable phase, the other can be in a waiting process. As you can see in the architecture or life cycle of it. See, this is the life cycle of the thread where you are starting new thread. You are starting a new thread. Either it can be in a runnable state or it can be not runnable. This runnable, not runnable can be runnable, dead. Okay. This runnable can be also be dead. Okay. If you see the start. Start is a phase of every thread. Whatever the first phase. And the second one, if you see, this is runnable. If you see runnable, where the process, it may be running the process. If you are going for any programmatic, first you will be starting the program and you will be running it. If you get errors, it can be stopped or else you can try to rectify the errors. So this will be the running program. The next is dead. Even in runnable stage also, the process can be stopped or it can be exit. Something like if you get any errors or anything, the process, whatever you're trying to do, it will stop in between itself and it shows the errors line by line. That is dead. It can also be called as terminated. Okay. The next one is not runnable. This not runnable, if you see, it can be in a waiting stage. Okay. Not runnable, it can be in a waiting stage or it can be dead. If you see a too much of process of waiting can also be caused for the death. If you see here, once the runnable stage is completed for the first program, if it is a span of 10 to 15 minutes, you can run the other program. 
or else if you take it may cost a uh, more than 30 minutes or 1 hour the non runnable cannot wait right it can't wait so it will be terminated if you see here see it will be terminated it will stop the program or stops or run exits for the runnable okay next is thread as i said the new new thread this is a phase of the first thread the next one is runnable see this is a runnable stage where you will be running whatever the program if you want it you will be running the stage next is non runnable this can be a waiting stage or terminated these both will be linked if not runnable is not uh, if it is the waiting time is too much of uh, other than the 30 minutes or uh, one hour then it will be a process of next waiting stage and then after waiting stage it will be terminated in the same way if you see here runnable can also be dead if the thread is not successful if the thread is not successful then the process will be either dead or terminated this is a thread stages now if you see the thread if you want to start a thread you have to use the first method that is void state and the second is public void run where you will use the void start if you see for the thread if you want to start a thread you have to call a method that is called void start starting of a program next if you want to run hold the thread whatever the process you are taking if you want to make it as a runnable stage you have to use it void run this is for the runnable stage this void run can be of runnable stage or non runnable something like waiting stage also next is the constructors how you will be constructing hold the thread concept first is thread directly you will be calling the thread or else you can call with the string name you can be runnable and runnable this two will be implemented the runnable stage whatever the runnable stage if you see in a thread it will be implemented the other things you can directly extend it see here this is the runnable and the threads if you see here the main is extended to the thread this was the void run which you are calling for it and the thread it is extended if you see here the both programs were the same but here you were implementing the runnable and you were extending the thread extending thread and runnable of the thread there will be no no type of things the thread will be running here also the thread will be running but the only thing you were doing in a other way one is for the extending and the other one is the implementing one you were extending you were inheriting it and for the implementation you were using interface for the extending whatever the things you were taking for extending it will be of whatever the thing that will be inheritance and whatever the implementation program program or problem if you are taking it it will be of interface stage next is yield and interrupt if you see in the life cycle you will be having yield this is a method where the running process if it interrupts or if you if it is uh, if you are getting any problem of yield method see this is yield interrupt if a program is running if you are if there is any problem it will be interrupted then the yield can be called yield method or interrupt method can be called 
so that the multiple thread whatever the things you were taking it can be run faster without any interruption of that following of any errors you were trying to find it if you are getting an error this is a program if you see here here you were getting any error this thing you were getting error in a thread for example okay this thread is getting an error okay then you can either call yield method or interrupt method where it will interrupt the whole program this is interrupting the whole program so it will stop that interruption and it will be runnable again if you use the yield process or interruption method okay next is the creation of it if you see here this is the extend method where inheritance is followed and this is the interface method where implementation is followed if you see both of things this is the main highlight for the implementation you will be calling a thread object only this method other than this the object start the main method both was same then the outside of the thread the same thing will be followed for only running of the thread you were extending directly a thread but you were here implementing you were interfacing it interface where only runnable things can be followed it out so you will be using a thread ob1 where you will be calling the object of the thread and it can be implemented directly so that you will be getting the same output whatever the output if you want it where uh, this is a runnable stage run method you are calling and here directly it was called start method before here we were only calling the thread object to run the whole process because as we have called the runnable stage in further we will be seeing about the exception handling and uh, how the exception handling can be deal with the programming